um, by Britney Spears. And it starts out with a really, really cool, uh, a lot of keyboard, cool keyboard licks here you could take and put on the guitar. And it kind of starts out with this little 16th thing where you take third fret on the high string and, and do kind of a down up, down up on it. So we're kind of doing just that G note kind of four times. One, two, three, four. And you could even take the low string and kind of add that to it and kind of make it more of a bass lick if you wanted to. And then from there comes in a very hip lick that comes uh, that, that happens through the tune where you play the open E twice and then second on the D and then second on the A string four times and then we, we play open D and then go to third fret on the low E string. So an O, O, two, 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 O, three, O, two, 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 O, three. And later on, that kind of gets tagged a different way where you play the second on the A, and then open D, and then second on, on the D, and then third foot on the low E string. Two, O, two, three, two, O, two, three. Kind of becomes the tag of that. So you got E, 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 B, 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 D, E. And then there's a, another keyboard lick that turns up where you play open E and then take four on the G string, or on the D string, it's kind of like a sharp note. Open G, second on the G, open G, four on the D, open G, and then four on the D. So you'd be going O, four, O, two, O, four, O, four, E, F sharp, G, A, G, F sharp, G, F sharp. And that lick, actually, you could move by octave too if you wanted to play it a little bit higher. You could go second fret on the high E string, third on the high E string, fifth on the high E string, third on the high E string, second fret on the high E string, and then third on the high E string, and then second fret on the high E string. Two, three, five, three, two, three, two. It's kind of a cool little lick. And later on, actually, you hear kind of just the open E twice, and then second on the D twice, and then A string on the second. And that kind of happens later on in the two. We got oh, oh, two, two, two. Oh, oh, two, two, two. It's kind of a breakdown or an abbreviation of that lick. And then there's another part actually later on, actually, where you kind of hear just the E to the D, open E to the D string on the second fret, kind of an E octave thing. E, 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 almost like a disco kind of lick. So, so with all those licks, though, you could kind of play the open E string, and that, that note actually is, is kind of what, what, what's implying the chord. And, and you could even kind of open the lick with kind of that, that very first lick we were talking about. But with all those other licks, actually, you, you could add, even add in open E's. And that could be kind of a cool thing to kind of back up those licks. And I'm kind of doing that hybrid picking, so I'm using my pick for my bass. through the team. Now the chord that would kind of back that up would be an E minor chord. There's a couple different E minors you might want to play around with through the tune for variation. But normally you play E minor first finger on the A string, second fret, second finger on the D string, second fret, and if you strum all those together, that sounds like an E minor chord and it sounds really, really sad. Now you could kind of take your pinky and kind of add it in on the B string on the third fret, and that's something called an E minor 7. Another E minor you might want to play around with, or another E minor 7 you might want to play around with, is doing that first finger on the A string, second, second finger on the D string, second, third finger on the B string, third, and the pinky on the high E string. And varying those through the tune could be kind of a cool thing. You could kind of almost say some stuff with those E minors. And then a lot of times with a song like this, though, I like to add something called a strum pattern. One of my favorite strum patterns for a 4-4 like this is down, down, up, up, down, up. So you took the E minor and just tried that like you have down. Now, um, uh, something else you might want to add to that is that open E string. That is kind of your bass note. So you have an open E bass down, up, up, down, up, blue bass down, up, up, down, up, up, blue bass down, up, up, down, up, blue bass down, up, down, up, blue bass down, up, down, up, down. Now, another strum pattern I think about using through the song, though, is something called a 16th note strum pattern. And what I mean by that is if you're tapping your foot to the beat, 
Right now the down, down, up, up, down kind of divides that into two parts. One, two, one, two, and that's called an eighth note. What a sixteenth note is, is where you divide that into four parts. One, two, three, four, one, two, three, four. And one of my favorite sixteenth note strum patterns is long down, 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 up, up, down, down, up, down. And what I mean by that is if you do a down for four, one, two, three, 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 four, that's what you should be doing on the first beat. Then on the second beat, you'd be doing a down on one, down on three, up on four. So you'd be going one, two, three, four, down. On two down on three. So you're going one, two, three, four, one up, down, one up, down, one up, down. And on the last beat, you're going down, up, down, and right along with the one, two, three, four. So you got down, up, down, up, down, up, down, up, down. So all together, you got long, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 up, down, 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 you can kind of lay it down on top of the strings, just a little bit over the saddle, and kind of get a beauty quality out of it, and that can be a very good thing to do too. Now, at tempo, that 16th note is going to go really fast. So you may have to kind of practice that to kind of get into to tempo, although it'll work at slower paces too, actually. So you may want to just kind of consider that. I just think that that'd be a very good pattern to use through the song. And then we're basically going to be repeating that until we get to our bridge part. On our bridge, we start with the E minor, but then we go to a C major chord, and we play C major. First finger goes to the B string on the first fret, second finger on the D on the second fret, third finger on the A string on the third fret, and if you strum the A string to the high E string, then that can be your clearest sound. That's called C major. And then from the C major, we're going to be going to a D major chord, we play D major. First finger goes to the G on the second fret. Second finger goes to the high E on the second fret, and then third finger goes to the B string on the third fret. And if you strum the D string to the high E string, that sounds a D major chord, and it sounds really, really happy. And then from the D major, we're going to be going to an A minor chord. We're going to play A minor. First finger goes to the B on the first fret, second finger on the D on the second fret, the third finger on the G string on the second fret. And if you strum all those together, that sounds like A minor, and it sounds really, really sad. And then from the A minor, we go back to C major. So that's kind of our bridge progression. So we tried that with our down, down, up, up, down, up. We have E minor, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, D, down, down, up, up, down, E minor, down, down, up, up, down, C, down, down, up, up, down, up. Or if you wanted to add basses to that on your C chord, you'd have the A string for your bass. On the D, you'd have the, the D string for your bass. And on the A minor, we'd have the A string for your bass. So we try it that way, we have him on the bass. Down, up, up, down, up, down, up, bass. Two on the D, open G, and then four on the D, and then second on the on the D. So an E G F sharp E, and you can even move that back too if you wanted to play it higher. You could go open E and then three on the high E, second on the high E, and then open E, or you could even kind of add the basses into that and kind of get the open E to kind of happen with that lick. So that might be kind of a cool thing to do. And then from there, then we'd be going into kind of our verse chorus again. So we'd back to E minor, which is kind of that down, up, up, down, or the bass, down, up.
big back that. So you might want to kind of try and bring that back too. But that's the basics of how you can play Work Beach by Britney Spears. So good luck!